Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Mi 11X and today is really really exciting because we have Oxygen OS which is ported to this wonderful device. Now remember this is a very very early port, there are still bugs and things will be fixed as time passes by. But in today's video we are going to quickly see how to install it and before we do that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people, you can join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. my name is Kalash. Let's get going. Alright, now this phone, the Mi 11X or the Poco F3 or the K40, whatever you want to call it, is in TWRP. So let me tell you the prerequisites over here. First things first, you need to have an unlocked device with more than 50% battery. All of your data should be backed up because everything will be erased right you need to have a specific version of twrp installed which is linked in the description and the steps include you first flashing xiaomi.eu stable rom and then installing this using a computer so you will need a usb cable you will need a computer you will need the 7z software to extract the file and you need to make sure that the fastboot drivers for your phone are installed on the computer so that it detects your phone and the flashing goes just fine. Now, considering that you've taken care of all of these, we should be good to go. Now, let's see what do they have to say over here. Oxygen OS 11 port ported from OnePlus 9R, right? Android version 11, Aloyth and Aloyth in, so it works for all the versions of this phone. Build date is yesterday. Now, let's see the disclaimer over here. These are important things. You need to, you know, go ahead and read them before you flash anything of this sort. This is the changelog over here. They have fixed quite a lot of things. The major bug that we have is the proximity sensor, which I think will make, uh, you know, I mean, you can always use the power button. That should not be an issue, but proximity sensor is something that is important. Dolby Atmos is not working. Double tap to wake is not working. Partially broken OnePlus camera face unlock is not working although the fingerprint scanner is working absolutely fine right now as you can see in the installation part over here flash eu stable reboot to fast boot download 7z and extract that is on the computer and run the flasher now this takes about 5 to 10 minutes to flash after you have installed xiaomi.eu stable right so please follow this video step by step and i'm pretty sure in the next versions, the process to flash this will become much, much easier, right? You can go ahead and definitely donate to this particular group. The name of the group is Pirate Access Discussion. They are porting Android 12 betas to our device as well, and now they have Oxygen OS. So if you can, please go ahead and support them because they are making amazing ports for this device. Now, with all that said and done, I do have the files on a pen drive that I have connected to the phone. So let me show you what we are going to do. Now, before you actually proceed with this particular step, if you're on a stock ROM, if you're on a custom ROM, you need to take care of a few things. First of all, all your data must be backed up. You need to have more than 50% battery, right? Now, considering that you've done that, you need to remove all your Google accounts. You need to remove your Xiaomi or MI account. If you're an MI UI, you need to remove all the security. That is the lock screen password, the fingerprint, the face unlock, everything. Reboot the device into system once and then boot into TWRP and make sure you have all the files ready. You can keep those files in your phone's internal storage. I prefer using a OTG from time to time, right? Now let me quickly show you what files I have here. So if you go to install, select storage USB OTG. I have Xiaomi.eu and this is a hot fix, okay? I also have the Majisk zip because uh, you know we will need majestic access to flash the hotfix which allows you to use the earphones earlier the earphones were not were not working in the initial build so let's go ahead with the flashing process so first we will go to wipe advanced wipe dalvik data right and i am wiping internal storage you don't do it if you have the files in there otherwise you'll have to copy the files again right so i'm wiping all of these okay now let's go to install xiaomi.eu there you go. Okay, 
Now, of course, this is Xiaomi.eu. It is a big ROM. It will take anywhere between two to three minutes to flash. So please be patient when that happens. Meanwhile, I will show you on the computer what needs to be done. All right. Now, as I said, you need to ensure that the drivers for your fast boot on the computer are detected. Otherwise, this will not work. So there will be a particular file that you will download and you need to download and install this software called 7-zip, which is free. For me, it is in this folder where I keep all my ROMs. Now you do see over here that you have this particular file. So you can right click on it. If you're on Windows 10, Windows 7, whatever, or Windows 11, like I am. If it's Windows 11, click on show more options. Or if you're on Windows 10, click on 7-zip and click on open archive. Okay. Now you can select extract and you can select the folder over here, like wherever you want to extract and you can click on OK. This will take some time to extract. For example, I extracted this in the OOS folder. Make sure the folder name to which you extract doesn't have any spaces in between, like let it be a one word folder. Okay. Once this is extracted, your job is done. We will wait for Xiaomi.eu to be flashed. All right. Now, as you can see over here, Xiaomi.eu has been flashed. So let's go to wipe format data, type in yes. Okay. Once that is done, go to reboot and select system. Wait for the phone to boot up. It will take some time. MIUI based ROMs do take some time for the first boot to complete. And uh, at this point, you know, you if you do a format data, everything on your internal storage would be wiped. So if there are some files which have linked in the description and you want to flash, you can go ahead and copy them or download them again to your phone. Those are relatively small files like Majisk and a couple of modules and stuff like that. So that should not be a problem. For me, I have the files in this particular pen drive, but I will have to wait for it to boot up and once it is booted up, it is just on the setup screen. Then we can go ahead and reboot it into fast boot. All right. Now, as you can see over here, we are on the setup screen for Xiaomi.eu. You don't need to set it up. You don't need to do anything. All you need to do is for me, unplug the USB OTG and first connect the phone to the computer. Okay. So I'm going to connect the USB cable here real quick. All right. So now the phone is connected to the computer and we need to press and hold volume down and power. Keep it pressed till the time you enter fast boot mode. Okay. Now you're connected to the computer or laptop and you're in fast boot mode. You have extracted the files. You have flashed Xiaomi.eu. You are good to go. Right now at this point, we will go back to the computer. Okay. Now we are in this oxygen os or os folder where we extracted all the files you will have this particular file called flasher windows force wipe okay so double click on this okay now as you can see over here it has started flashing things sending boot a b now remember this process will take anywhere between five to 10 minutes. It really depends on a lot of factors, which USB port you're connected to and uh, how fast is your computer and stuff like that. If you get this error, invalid sparse file formatted header magic. Don't do anything. Just relax. It is just a normal message. It is not an error. Just let it go through. Give it like a couple of minutes and it will move ahead. Let's wait for it to flash the complete ROM. All right. Now, as I said, after a minute or two, it will start sending the super images. Now, these are big files and to the right, you can see the time in seconds, how many seconds it took to send that particular file. So let's wait for it to completely flash. Make sure if you're on a laptop, make sure you are connected to a charger. Power saving features are disabled because if you leave the laptop idle for like five minutes or so, it might go to sleep and uh, that can ensure that the flash fails. So you need to make sure you take care of all of those things. Right now, as you see over here on the screen, it says finished, but don't disconnect the phone. Don't restart the phone. Don't, you know, close the window on the computer. It is still doing its thing. It will say that flash has completed. Press any key to close. That is when you go ahead and remove your phone. So keep waiting. All right. Now, as you can see, the phone has rebooted on its own. And if you look at the computer screen, it says rebooting finished total time 0 0.03 seconds. And if you look at the phone screen, it is booting into Oxygen OS. Now, the first boot, as always, will take anywhere between one to two minutes. So please be patient. Now, at this point, some people 
weirdly encountered a boot loop i don't think that should happen because this is the second time i'm flashing since morning and it is booting just fine for me but if you happen to do that go to fast boot install the you know flash the twrp and do a format data and then reboot and you should be fine but let's wait for the, this phone to boot up we will disconnect the phone from the computer and we will now go ahead and reconnect the otg cable because we need to flash majisk right and uh, we also need to go ahead and uh, root this device so that we can go ahead and fix or flash that particular fix which allows you to use wired earphones as well all right now as you can see over here we are on the setup screen of oxygen os so let's go ahead and skip everything all right now as you can see just like that we are on the home screen and if we go to settings go to about phone it does say that this is the mi 11x but it is actually based on a version of oneplus 9r's software right so we will need to go ahead and enable the otg storage now you need to go ahead and install the majisk apk first system otg disable enable let's go to the file manager let's go to storage over here and usb storage so first thing to do is install majisk real quick okay let's go ahead and open majisk over here right now if you flash this through the conventional way using twrp it doesn't work that is the reason we have another option i have patched the boot img or boot image of this particular rom right so this is the file that is linked in the description right and this is the hot fix you can use this gcam which is linked in the description so you can use this particular gcam or you can use any other gcam because the built-in camera application even after giving all the permissions is not working for me so you can just go ahead and install this apk or any other gcam apk and xml of your choice the camera works but some things don't work but that is a discussion for another day when when we do the first impressions we can go ahead and talk about that here we are just you know going to set it up for daily use and 4g wi-fi voice over wi-fi and things like that are working absolutely fine right okay now we will boot into twrp to do that press and hold volume up in power remember that patched boot image that we have in the description we need to flash that go to the location where you've copied that file for me it is on the usb otg so let's go to usb otg select install image once you click on select install image select this select it as boot and select flash both slots swipe to confirm flash okay now ignore these errors and reboot system now once we have installed the apk and flashed the patched boot img you should have a root access available let's wait for the phone to boot up we are almost done setting it up to use it sort of as a daily driver because the proximity sensor is not working and that is something that you will need in your day-to-day -day use let's wait for the phone to boot up all right so the phone is booted up let's quickly go to majisk and see if we have root access over here Okay, it says requires additional setup hit okay it will reboot once and then we should have proper root access all right we booted back into the phone let's check majisk there you go we do have proper root access now we need to install a particular module so select install from storage for me it is there on the usb otg and the module that i'm talking about is this particular auto fix reboot your system and bam you are done so the bugs which i mentioned are there but once you install this particular fix your wired earphones will work and if you don't use wired earphones it's completely fine if you don't go ahead and install majisk and don't flash this majisk module fix because you can use bluetooth earphones they work just fine let me know in the comment section are you excited to use oxygen os on the poco f3 or mi 11x or not wait for the initial impressions and maybe even a gaming review until the next one, this is Kalash, signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.